woman who was here at the beginning of moving pictures and at the intersection of innovation and technology and storytelling and it's such a fascinating detective story um, it, and you told it in such a lively and compelling way you did a mountain of research and you dedicated eight years of your life can you tell us a little bit about that process first of all i just want to say thank you it's okay Thank you for coming. I know that it's a Saturday holiday weekend, and I appreciate you being here. Um, it's not just eight years of my life. There's some years that were done before me. Joan Simon knew about um, Alice in the 90s. Carrie Beecham knew about her, I think, for quite some time as well, the work. So um, just took me a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a massive, massive undertaking when you want to do something that is uh, accurate for well, academics to respect you, but also uh, to entertain an audience. And that takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of research, um, it's very costly, uh, it's, a, it's a job. You know, when you're making an independent film and uh, you're taking on all these roles, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. Um, but yes, I think once people saw uh, the discoveries and we had the funders that kept uh, putting up the funds to pay to keep me moving forward I think more people started to join because they had a hard time comprehending that there was a woman at the beginning doing all these things and in fact there were many women that followed her as we know they just weren't recorded or documented so this film should pave the way to document and record more women um, like Alice. I mean, Alice, the road was there because there were the Lumieres and, and Edison and Melies experimenting. I think what's special about Alice is she had these little breadcrumbs that she put on the way, you know, of the grammar of cinema to give the road something a little bit more special, uh, you know, to, uh, to, de to develop it. But the more people saw what I was sharing, the more they were excited and they could personally relate in the industry, like Andy Samberg when he saw the short form, he, you know, he couldn't believe it. It's so you know, similar. So I was trying to make all these connections because Alice started in short form, then she went on to long form. She's doing all these different genres, which is, it's really hard to believe that this woman even existed. You know, I had to like find a lot of these documents for my own <laughs> sanity to believe that this woman was doing all these things, Planned Parenthood, anti-Semitism, racism, you know, uh, gender films, everything that's relevant to today. So that attracted a lot of people. Mark Romanek was another one too, because he came from short form and, you know, he has that line, how does someone have a sense of cinema when there was no cinema, you know? So um, the more was uncovered, the more people got excited. And um, we met and we talked and the conversation was, it's going to take a long time, it's going to take a lot of money, and go for it. I'll give you all my contacts at Archives, and by the way, Jodie Foster would be a perfect bilingual narrator, and we had, I was living in Paris at the time, we would have phone calls at all hours of the day and night, and then we moved to uh, Los Angeles five years ago, so we continued to work in person. But... Um, I think the most important thing of the whole project is the kind of uh, f persistence, fortitude, patience, resilience, and not waiting for anyone to give you the okay, just do it. And there are a lot of other people, and there have been incredible philanthropists, many of them women. Uh, the exception to the rule is Hugh Hefner, who was very generous at the beginning personally and just keep doing it. There are many, many more women filmmakers, directors, editors, DPs, uh, who are less known in Hollywood than ever. More monographs, more documentaries. There are colleagues in the audience who are about to make a film about Ida Lupino, who takes her place with film and television, as important as Alice did early on. There are so many, just go out and do it. And call your friends after here if you're interested in this film and tell them to come see it because it can go further and wider the more people. And to see what um, Aliski 
Vache did with her career from the very beginning, where I believe that she literally began directing in a way because she was not a threat. She was not a perceived threat. It was, oh yes, you know, with your time off from what your secretary, go ahead and play. And that's, she did beyond that. And um, she created this extra, extraordinary work. She clearly, when there was ever a no, overcame that. She was, she, she's a great example of that. And uh, it, it was, it's fascinating just to watch how she developed as a filmmaker, how she taught herself as a filmmaker. And you look at a lot of the films and, and some of the techniques she was doing um, came out of necessity. Often we learn out of necessity. We want to try to tell a story. We're not sure how to tell it. We need angels to show up. How are we going to do that? And um, I feel that she was such an innovator in, 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 and really shows you what it is to be a craftsperson and hone your skills and learn from your, your mistakes and learn from the people around you because that's what a craftsperson does.